Hello, the Killer Tanner here, back in The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I started having a conversation in the comments section of my assault rifle location guide with someone who simply goes by Lucas, and that inspired me to make a video on all the weird tips and tricks that I like to use in this game. Most of these tips are not for survival, they're really just for convenience, but I'll get to that right now. Trick number one, aim arrows by sticking them right in your eyeball. It's a lot harder with the bomb arrows because they got shit attached to them. But works perfect with these ones. You can see right through them. Ooh. Lead. Lead them a little. Deadzo. Like a regular Legolas. Don't need to do it there. Oh, goodness. Can I snake it into your mouth under the helmet mask thing? Come on. Ugh. Oh, it worked. That was a little luck there, I'll admit. So tip number one, look through the arrows to aim. You are just randomly murdering survivors and you assholes give me shit about it? That wasn't cool. I mean, he had a gun, so he probably was one of the dick survivors, whatever. Trick number two. Knife stabilizing. That's how Lucas does it. I prefer to do this. Makes me feel like Big Boss. Old school Big Boss, you know? He actually technically sometimes holds it like this. Another outcast. You'll be lucky if they don't murder you, too. What do you think? Can you help me out with some meds? Just did. Get the fuck out of here. This place is crazy. Control yourself. Control yourself! Run! Run! Do not run into the patrol! Out of here! You're fucking crazy. Fuck you out. are! You, okay, good! Out of here, go! The other part of trick number two. You can stabilize your weapons with a flashlight indoors. Uh, because I'm sure we all agree that this flashlight is garbage and we all wish it was head mounted. And nice thing about when you're doing it with a flashlight is you let it go and it doesn't fall to the floor. And it's still useful if you're not looking straight down or up. <laughs> But this way. Ooh. Who the fuck? Uh oh. Time for the next trick. I didn't think patrols came inside. Ah, perfect. Trick number three. Uh, apparently, pillows are made of Kevlar. I had no idea. But Lucas told me about it. Let's try it out. And let's use them to prop up our gun. Trick combination. This is awesome. Keep it low. Let the pillow cover a lot of my body. Gotta find them again, though. Damn, the patrol went indoors and upstairs. That's bonkers. You're still here, lady? Get gone. There you go. Hey, shoot me. Oh, shit. You were right, Lucas. This is the saddest fight ever. Come on, hit me! Come on, son! <laughs> this is so fucking awesome! Oh, man. Grant, you know, the, the alternate stabilizing trick doesn't work so well with long arms. But... Damn, that was a neat trick. Can you just slot these in your backpack? Yep, you sure can. Wish you could stick pillows in your side slots. <laughs> that would make it a lot more useful. But, good enough, dude. Bulletproof shield. Gut up and stop getting harassed by zombies. Oh, bonus tip that I totally didn't plan for. That's how to make guts go on you quicker. Just alternate where you're rubbing it and they'll go on your body way faster. You won't have to, it won't take as long to fill up that ring. So I guess bonus tip was tip number four. Tip number five, or four, whatever, who cares? I don't know how the next tip will translate to other consoles or systems, whatever, but at least on Oculus Rift, this works very well. Do you know you have basically like item detector hands? I'd say metal detector, but not everything's metal. All right, you just use your hand like a metal detector instead of wasting all your time opening these freaking cabinets. And whenever you're hovering over an item, the game has this little tiny vibration when it's telling you that you can grab objects. 
And when you walk by it, you'll feel it. I think there's one in here. Yep. Boom. If you wiggle your hand over it, you can even see the little bubble. Like, you don't even need to open the drawer. Blink. That's how you cheat and find stuff. Okay. I found a flaw in my final in my final trick. It does not vibrate over ammunition. That sucks. Weird. If physics-based VR combat is your thing, melee or gunplay, zombies or otherwise, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you thought of these tips and tricks in the comments, and if you have any more, feel free to drop that too. Tanner out. Times two.